going to start with a few pages that his sister wrote, my Aunt Mary. Um, basically just tell the story about his early life, about him. Mark was the first child born to Melvin and Margaret J. Hickson. There was much discussion about a name for this first child. After long debates, excluding all family names, his father decided to randomly open the Bible, and the Bible opened to the Gospel according to St. Mark, and so his name was chosen. His father worked for PG&E and was on the Featherwood River Project when the radio message reached him, announcing Mark's birth. Melvin's comment, well, I guess I have to go back to the Bay Area this weekend to meet my son. When Mark was about three, his family moved to Mountain View and lived in a small house on Karen Way, built in what was once a fruit orchard. In fact, there were old apricot trees in the backyard, which provided abundant fruit, but also a built-in jungle gym, where Mark and his sister Marion were often seen climbing the trees. On these branches, he would watch the original Mouseketeers when they would visit Bobby Perguess's parents next door. But Mark's pa passion was playing cowboys and Indians. His sister was always the Indian. <laughs> After the Feather River Project, Mark's father worked for PG&E in Needles, California, on the waterline from the Colorado River to Los Angeles. Mark's mother traveled back and forth between Mountain View and Needles, so the children, now two with a third on the way, could, could see their father regularly. Then in May 1958, Mark's father went to work for a company called Fargo. The whole family was transferred to Buenos Aires, Argentina. The project was to build an oil pipeline from Rosario to Buenos Aires so that the crude oil extracted around Rosario could be sent to Buenos Aires without the use of barges that navigated the, on the Rio de la Plata. This was a huge adventure for Mark. He went from attending public school in California to St. Peter's Private Boys School in Argentina, where the curriculum was done half a day in English and the other half in Spanish. Printing pencils were replaced with cursive and dip pens. This foreign so sojourn finished soon after the Argentinian military staged a coup and outed Juan Perón. So in the spring of 1959, the family returned to the USA. Mark's father took a job as a city engineer in Santa Maria, California, and the family resided there until 1965. Here Mark had his first dog, Rusty, a boxer mix, and the two of them got into lots of adventures. Mark's father hunted regularly and the freezer was full of venison, pheasants, quails, and ducks. Mark, then 12, went bird hunting with his father, but was not allowed to shoot the shotgun. But back at camp, late one afternoon, another hunter decided to let Mark shoot at something. He had Mark sit down on a log and pointed out, out a dark shadow up in the trees. Mark took aim and fired. The recoil knocked him off the log, but he hit his target. <laughs> a great horned owl fell out of the tree. The poor animal stuffed him mounted and displayed proudly in Mark's bedroom. <laughs> Mark participated in the music programs at the local schools and learned to play French horn. He played in the band at school, but also in the community orchestra and played various concerts with them. The last concert he performed was in Verdi's Requiem as fourth horn. Though music through music, Mark met Marion Moreno, a band teacher, and was invited to the Moreno Ranch outside Santa Barbara to meet Abelito Moreno and experience many weekends on the small working ranch that was over 100 years old. 
during the summers of the 60s, Mark spent a good amount of time in Sonora Jamestown visiting his Uncle John and brother to his mother, who owned the only gas station with a mechanic in the area. Here Mark learned about pumping gas, washing windshields, and changing oil. He also learned about the Marines from his Uncle John, who was a Korean War vet. In the summer of 1965, Mark's father took a contract for supposedly two years with Betchel International to build an oil pipeline that went from Trieste, Italy to Ingolstadt, Germany. It was decided that the opportunity of European travel for the children was priceless. So in December of 1965, Mark's mother and siblings moved to Italy, leaving Mark in Santa Maria with friends to finish his sophomore year at Paul Rigetti High School. Then in June 1966, Mark also moved to Italy to be with the family. Mark was in Italy from June 1966 to September 1968. He continued his high school education by correspondence but at the same time traveled extensively with his mother and siblings in their VW microbus. He also worked with his father, or for his father, the summer of 67 on the Transalpine Pipeline, Trieste to Isonzo River section. Mem memorable was the trip to Switzerland, Liechtenstein and Austria at the beginning of November 1967. <coughs> The trip started with beautiful weather all the way to Lichtenstein.